Hi, it's Malcolm here and welcome to another video. So in this video, I'm going to show you this new software that I've been working on, um, which I'm actually calling at the moment JT Edge Enhancer. And the basic idea behind it is that you can look up jockey and trainer statistics really quickly, find out why or who who's running today or what run, runners they have actual actual races today and then look deeply into each of those horses running to find out if they're worth either laying back in or um, just ignore him. Um, so the basic software is um, just basically looks at it, it kind of takes the course so if you if you look at all the courses running today it will take those courses and then it will look at the jockey and trainer statistics for those courses and draw them out. Now you can back lay um, on this software at the moment and you can see trainer, jockey and trainer, jockey stats. So we kind of go through that and then we go through a little bit more detail of what you can actually do with the software. Um, at this moment in time, I'm still working on this software. It's not for sale or anything like that. Well, I will leave a link below and in the description um, where you can go and get find out more information and get on the waiting list to find out more about it as I update it or create it. It is close and I don't know how quickly I'm going to release it but um, and what I'm going to actually do with it at the moment. But I just thought I'd do this video because I've been talking about it for about a week um, and I'm quite excited about it in a lot of ways because it's got some quite good information in it and it allows you to dig down really quickly into possible selections for the day. So um, in this case, I've taken the backs. So we're looking at back selections. I've just taken the trainer um, and all race types. You can have hurdles, chase, all weather, flat, whatever you like, as far as that's concerned. Then we've, take, we've got number of records, the actual profit or minimum profit that we want. So we've got the minimum number of records that we want to base our, our searches on, searches, searches on, um, and the strike rate. So, you know, 17 is is a bit low but it kind of with backing you've got to kind of step it back a little bit and then work forward because um you know it's not always um easy for trainers to make a lot of money at each course so um it's easier to make money later or, or it's easier for us to find um jockeys and trainers that we could lay than it is to find ones that we can back with any kind of certainty, if you get my meaning. But we've got a couple of ideas here. So um, this is today. Um, today is the 11th of um, August uh, 2023. They say you shouldn't date videos, but I've just gone and done that anyway. Um, OK, so um, so far we've got these um, free trainers. Now we could do the same with jockeys, so we could just change it to jockeys and see if we get any um, as far as that's concerned, so we've got these jockeys that have made a profit. Um, and what happened is down here, it will bring up those jockeys where they are running today, what courses they're running and what um, horses that they're actually um, riding for today. And same with the traders, what trainers, what um, horses they've got in each race, which is cool. One of the things found out quite quickly is it's surprising how many trainers hit markets with quite a lot, lot of horses. Um, so that's quite interesting to see um, straight away. You can see where, you know, like, um, is it Buick? I think it's Buick has got quite a few horses. Um, but we've seen others this week where they've put, you know, quite a few, in fact, 12 or 13 horses in um, in races at Brighton. Um, but anyway, yeah, so and you can do jockey and trainers. Now, if we do jockey and trainers, we might not get any selections or we might get very. Oh, we got a couple. So these are um, backs on jockeys and trainers. So, you know, that's how we can have a look at it. So this one's quite interesting. Now, the other thing to think about with backing is that sometimes the stats or the PL can be a bit skewed because of big winners. Um, and I suppose that could happen on the lay side as well, I suppose, a little bit. But um when you see big numbers, you really need to dig down and kind of see why that figure is quite high. Now, 70 points is still quite high. Um, but this runner, um, Appley and Buick, again, have had quite a few um, runners, 114 at Newmarket, 55 selections. Let's have a look at that in a bit more detail. So we open another window and we can have a look. Now, this is based on this course at the moment. Um, 
what they are, what they've done. So you can see at Newmarket, you get all the results. So you can see, you know, um, if you go back up here, you can see number of runners, jockeys, that kind of thing, class. And then we've got the profit um, that they made, BSP result, that kind of thing. So you can see that this pair has actually done quite well at Newmarket. So it's probably an interesting duo to take on as far as backing is concerned. So um, I don't know why that's showing only two point four eight. As I said, this is still a little work in progress. I think that should be um, one across there. Um, so something's missing this morning. I need to check that. But um, so yeah, that's the profit, um, and that should say the average um, the average price of winning. So something's missing. I have to have a look at that. Um, and then you can see the early prices of the two runners that they're on today. So um, Broadway Act and Tribal Moon. So if we go here and we have a look at this down here, hopefully my picture isn't in the way. And I'm sorry I keep looking at the screen rather than you, but it's easier if I do that. So let's have a look at, there's no horse form, so these are maidens. So this is obviously interesting. Um, let's have a look at Broadway Act because there's not going to be anything here, is there? So two maidens, but they do do quite well at this course. So um, I don't know if they. Maybe that's something else I need to put in here is to know that these are actually um, what kind of races they are here as well. So we can get because it could be that they're very good at getting maidens um, at the time. So I need to do, I think, add one more part into there, which is one of the reasons I did this video so that I could explain to you at the same time, go, oh, we could do with that. So I can then go on and go, right, OK, I'm going to enhance the SIS software by adding that extra feature in so I can write that on a pad at the side saying, you know, I need more information um, on the results um, for the for the, um, the jockey and trainer or jockey trainer or whatever. So we can I can have a look at that. So that's something I can add quite quickly to there and fix those little bits of pieces that come up as we do it. Um, the other one is um, this Mulleran and, and, and Goldie, another couple, 31 points. Let's have a kind of quick look at those. Now you open, you notice it opens in a new window. So the original window is already there and you just have to select the other window to have a look what's happening. So um, four runners today, a little bit up and down, had a bit of a bad run and see they've got had this winner here. And if you look at it, there's just been like three, about three winners, isn't it? Something like that. Um, 16 okay yeah because this is talking about months so there's some winners there some winners there probably some winners all about but if we have a look at the daily results um so yeah there was a few winners there as you can see there and there there long losing runs but yeah they again you know they're not a bad pair as far as winners are concerned so a few of these might be of interest. Now, the other thing we can do is, uh, again, look at the horse. So um, I don't know about this one, for instance, but let's have a quick look. Um, so PL minus one on this particular horse. Um, show the daily results. Only actually had one at Musselboro before, so it doesn't really tell us a lot. Um, these two, I'm not sure about this one, but these two are obviously quite interesting. Um, one win, so loss of soft win. So again, that's kind of like not not much there. Um, let's have a look at the user again. So it's had two wins. So um, two wins, seven furlongs. So we're at seven furlongs again. Obviously, doesn't mind muscle bearer. Um, seven furlongs, we, as we always say, good to firm, and it won last at good to firm. And it's one before at Good to Firm. So this might be a selection that we want to look into more um, as a possible back to look at today. So you can make a note of it and then go to the market and decide. Um, there's the other one here um, that has only had three selections at this market um, and not one at all. So I don't know, possibly not. That, I, I mean, all, out of three, all three of them, I think that one would be, or all four of them, that one would be probably the most interesting. One last time out as well. Um, that doesn't always mean it's going to win again, obviously, but um, it's quite interesting. And two maidens there, I probably wouldn't go. But let's have a look at it from a lay point of view. 
Um, I'm going to put the strike rate up to about 90% for the um, yeah, about 92 percent um, and I'm I leave profit about 30 because there's going to be lots of lay selection so you want to kind of um, well not for jockey and trainers so let's have a look and see if that's the profit that's done that um, yeah so it was the profit on the jockey and trainers when you do the jockey and trainers there's going to be a lot less records um, and a lot less to go on so again um, We've got these couple here, so interesting. Um, all of them over 90%. 90%. Um, PJ Dobson, our hand is quite interesting. Um, so we have a look down. As you've, the problem is, is a lot of the, high, the lays will be high because you know, the market already knows some of these stats as well. So, you know, we... Um, we're looking we're probably looking for those ones where we can find them at reasonable price so Parman here um, let's have a look at what's going on here so run twice before at new market and we can see the full results as well if you click here you can see this horse's full results so as you can see as a lay it hasn't really won for out of its five last results so whether today is going to be the day or not is another matter of course but um, trading at 7.2 price is going out a bit so if you're a trader that might be an indication that this might be a good later um, a later back trade because the price is going out um, during the day the early price is at about five or six in the morning and then we have 11 a.m. price um, so we kind of get an idea of where it's going and I'll probably here I've added 10 minute price as well which I'll probably add to that other screen at some time so as far as laying jockey trainer pairs that might be a good thing you can do just do it on trainers as well um, and it's quite interesting um, when you have a look at it you know how often horses do win and don't win and you can you can see it see it? there's a lot today if you do it that way so probably strike it and um, cut it down so we've got what a minimum record of say 80 let's try that and a minimum profit I don't know 20 pound or something let's start with that and see where we get to you could just go like to find 100% ones and stuff like that but um, there's not always that many and um, so we, the, all three of these have got um, 132 130 or more selections so they're all reasonably good um, as far as lays are concerned um, so we can have a look and see if there's any again with laying we want to be a bit careful on price and again um, you know kind of under the 10 so bullseye's won before quite a few of these are won before um that's a new one let's have a look at palamon see what we can find there so two at this course both of them lost let's have a look at its full um career so five selections is that the one we looked at just now it might well be <laughs> seems like very similar um can't remember but anyway um so we can see that one's going out as well um you could you could expand um your the amount the, the, the number of um selections you're going to look at by dropping the profit or, or whatever so you know you can look at that in more deep or more deeply if you like to see if you get more a few more um jockeys but we don't know so it's probably number of records that's going to really drop it let's try that <clears throat> and don't forget of course the less records so we bring one more in there the less records the less you've got to go on but it kind of might give you something else to go on and of course we can do this with um the jockey as well we can see how well the jockey performs at different courses so two jockeys now the, the the other thing i must explain is that it pulls up the courses it looks at the courses first and then the jockeys and trainers that have done well at, or done well or done bad at those circuits that doesn't mean they're necessarily going to be running today i haven't put that code in because that really makes it more complex but so basically these two are not actually running today so that hasn't helped us at all so let's um Let's drop the number of records first of all, see if we get a few more selections. We might have to drop the strike rate. So yeah, we get a few more doing that and then we, we come to um, a few more. So where are we 
it was the records rather than the strike rate so so we've got a strike rate up there um so records we dropped to 21 let's bring up to about 30 or something just to cut down on those records the one other thing also is i put this maximum bsp in now at the moment it's searching all their records no matter no matter what bsp they've got and um, but you sometimes find as i said with backs especially that the price you get these odd winners in in there that you know really shoot the profit up especially on backs so you can drop the price and only search under uh, records that have got a price of under 34 or under 30 or even under 10 if you want that's going to give you a lot less records but it might be more realistic um but if that's at 100 it just it just um looks at all the records so um again um lots of big prices here today this one looks quite interesting um but it's a maiden so i don't know if you want to take a chance this one here um at first at 1610 um of course this also depends on whether you mind laying higher odds um with liability staking or something like that so um <clears throat> only the one selection as you can see um and it didn't win um what was that again so class five furlong five furlong again um 16 runners today last i mean it was in a nine runner four class four point um class four bsp is a lot um lower today so that's interesting um five furlong races are one of those races that you never know what's going to go on they're almost like well you know if you can get some kind of feeling that that runner might not do well in that race then five following races it's all about getting out of those traps quickly um and that's what makes them hit those races quite funny to watch um okay so that kind of wraps up the software and what you can do with it so you can you know really dig down into um the jockeys the trainers and find those little pieces of information that could be quite useful um for you so we'll just go back to trainers um, and I'm going to click that trainer button quickly because um, I think Carol's running again today. I thought Tony Carroll was running again today um, at Brighton. So why isn't he showing up here? Could be the strike rate because he's had a couple of winners. So that's going to bring up a lot more, but I just want to check something because it was quite interesting to see. We've been following um, A.W. Carroll, yeah, see there. So why didn't that come up 85% because he's had a couple of winners over the last couple of days. But the reason I wanted to show you this, let's go up for a number of records like high so that we know. Um, and we we just put that up like that. So we probably get a few less records. Right. So. Um, A.W. Carroll has been, um, the last three days, has had loads of um, horses running at um, at Brighton. And it's been quite interesting to watch it, especially a couple of them that he's run on two days running. Not running them today by the looks of it, obviously. Um, but, um, yeah, so that's been, he's been an interesting trainer to follow. And there's been some good wins on the lay side. There was one, and a couple of back wins, actually, which... I, I don't know, you could have kind of argued they look better as lays. But there was one yesterday we definitely saw that, you know, it was a, a good chance on a back bet. It still didn't actually win, but it, it like um, it got close. But yeah, so it's, it's interesting to see it like this, where you see that um, a trainer will go to the meet, a meeting and have loads of runners in it. And the last, like I said, the last two days, he's had 12 or 13 runners in each um, race so we followed along with those and, and found a couple of good lays and that kind of thing and if you add in jockey and trainers as well um, that makes it even more interesting okay so that's the software as I said there's a link below if you want to find out more about it it's not available yet I'm still playing around and as you saw that as I was recording this video I could see a couple of things that I still needed to sort out but if um, if you want to um, learn more as it happens and as things come out and I'll probably do some more videos then please follow the link add yourself to the list and then you'll get an email confirming that you're on the list and um, and I'll send you some more information okay thanks for watching oh if you're watching on this YouTube and you do like it please give it a thumbs up 
um, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.